Welcome back to another episode of the Cody Tucker Show. As always, I'm your host, Cody Tucker. Today, I am joined by a very special guest, the one and only Miss Arabella Mia. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I am good. Now, I've been looking forward to this. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun for sure. So before we kick into things, uh, anything you'd like to promote? Where can people find you? All that good stuff. Um, everyone can find me on Instagram, Green Girl Bella. Um, TikTok Green Girl, but well, actually, my TikTok's Green Girl Arsenal. I'm a football fan. Um, and my YouTube's Green Girl Bella. My Twitter is Green Girl Bella. Everything's Green Girl Bella. So, okay. yeah, all good. Yeah. So, okay. So, as an American, which is probably pretty obvious that I am one, uh, what is it like? Why do you think we don't like British football? Because I um, saw like you're a huge fan of Arsenal, and I've like been getting into it, and I became like a Liverpool fan, which I don't oh, know if that my brother's puts us at odds. Fan. Okay, yeah, like I, I mean, I had no affiliation to any team. I just like put it on one day, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna like give this like a real shot. And Liverpool was playing, and I was like, ah, fuck it, there. I it love is. Liverpool. Yeah, no, the um, I think I think it's just the, the football hype in general. I think in America, you guys really do hype up your version of football. Like, you know, uh, each state has their own sort of like local star, which is like the like the high school American like top mm -hmm. player, which yeah. was, like so everybody hears about American football everywhere, and it's like the like pride of America, isn't it? So like the the fact that British football wouldn't really come as much into things, would it? Because, mm -hmm. like, you know, when you're constantly seeing, like, oh, like, this is the most famous person in our county and he plays American football. So right. I think I think that's probably why. Yeah, that makes sense. And, uh, yeah, because cause also a lot of the people who play, like, say for, like, the EPL, the English Premier League, like, they're not from England necessarily, right? No, this is the thing, yeah, is like, I don't even know how far back dated it was. It's probably like in the 1800s where people actually were from the same place that they played football for. Really? Like, honestly, it because I think it's because it's so close together as well. But then we've like, like Arsenal as a team, like we've got people from like Sweden, um, mm -hmm. from Brazil, like we yeah. change players like from all right. different places. So they're not just like, we've got French people, like... They're, they're all over it's yeah because like if you were to ask me to name like the i don't know like top five biggest like football like you know like your football players like i think I, I mean of all time like i'd probably only be able to name like two who were actually british like what like beckham and like wayne rooney yeah which, wayne rooney is a total badass but like yeah like the like everybody else that i would name would be from i mean wherever the fuck else yeah i wouldn't be able to name any american football stars you really? know I, I, I any sport that i've watched american wise i like basketball uh okay. and i like um what is it what's oh my god what's the one with the fork the court the the court uh baseball baseball a court yeah. boy i have never heard it no, called no, a court it's not, before. it's not a court it's a yeah. it's a diamond yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like a square. Yeah. You were getting it. Yeah. 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 yeah well, baseball is about the most boring goddamn sport on the planet. I think it's because I used to love playing it at school. I oh, think that okay. was my thing. Yeah, because I, you know, I was a fat kid. Like really. Massive. Yeah. So it's the only thing that like because I I also am neuro neurodivergent as well. So uh -huh. it was the only thing that like you know it was like quick 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 like you need to go you need to go so I'm like okay right, right. Like, now I can move because. Somebody's giving me a sense of urgency, whether where it's like I used to play, like you know, uh, I played football as well, and I played rugby, and like with rugby, okay. it made me feel uncomfortable because it was like full contact. I'm like, I'm the big girl, don't really want to be sitting on like you know, tiny little skinny girls. Don't really. Oh, that's the fun up. of it. It is, but then when yeah. you when you already feel like the big person, I'm well, yeah. like, I don't really want to hurt anyone. Do you know what I mean? That is. Oh my God. I have, yes, I a hundred percent know what you mean. Cause I've always been just a big old son of a bitch still am. And I always wanted to like be shrunk down. Cause I was Same. always like, not just like big, like I was always like way taller than everybody. Mm. And I hated that. I was like, you know, like a, a bunch of like short dudes would be like, Oh man, I wish I was as tall as you, which I mean, I'm not like freakishly tall, but how tall are you? 
uh six three which i don't know oh, okay. so yeah, i mean it's not like tall, crazy yeah. but but it's yeah. still like it's taller than the, like the average man i think the average well, it's a lot taller yeah is like five nine yeah so yeah, yeah it's it's, it's quite a bit taller and yeah. i've been the same height since i was like 13 like mm. i grew like real quick and then just stopped growing but like See, i was never i was small like i'm five foot four but i was okay. wide like so right, everybody, right, right. everybody would knew would know like yeah so it was just i don't know it was just one of those things and then i don't know i lost uh i lost a load of weight um and then that was about it like yeah, yeah so, mine mine fluctuates a lot oh, I, like I a have, like an oprah winfrey kind of thing if yeah. i ate what i wanted to 100 percent of the time i would be a house like a u.s house <sighs> or a uk one like yeah the honestly, real deal i it's just it's i think it's actually crazy i'll just feel like like if i, I like right now i could just uh, sit like actually my, my stomach's strong i like <laughs> at the moment but yeah I'm just, i could if i wanted to eat whatever i wanted all the time i'd be a big bitch i would oh sorry can i swear on here <laughs> oh i don't give a fuck sure <laughs> <laughs> i mean tr yeah trust me I've, yeah that's uh what okay so i actually had this which is funny it's like one of the little random questions at the end if you could make any food zero calories what would it be um oh my god like you could just eat that shit constantly and nothing happens to you you stay looking how you look i would i would probably say like desserts like any sort of dessert god. like a cake or something yes. like that i'm like such a sweet like i love sweet food yeah so, like i couldn't but then i don't know as i've got a bit older uh -huh. I don't know. i'm like savory but i think it would be it would so you don't have roast potatoes in the in the u.s do you roast sure we have roast potatoes yeah we have roast potatoes i mean i don't so, live in like goddamn mars yeah but i mean we I don't, think, I don't think you guys have the roast potatoes that we have in the uk okay what um, is what's a uk roast potato Okay, so what I do, this is like a, my recipe, yeah, because we have a roast dinner, which is basically just like chicken and gravy, but not your type of gravy. It's like, right. juicy. sorry, my dog like won't leave me alone. <laughs> you have like, um, like you'll have like chicken and then it'll be like wrapped in bacon or something and then you'll have vegetables and then you'll have gravy and roast potatoes. And the way that I do them is like, so I'll get like a pan and then I put oil in the pan with uh -huh. like garlic and like roasted garlic. Like it's like gallons of oil. It's so gross, but it's so good. Sounds amazing. Put, it's so good. Yeah. And then I'll put thyme on top of the potatoes and then literally put them in the oven and they roast and they like suck up all the oil and they go so crispy. Jesus they're Christ. They're like insane. Like, and I will make them maybe like once every sort of like three, four months when I'm having a bad day, I'm like, give me them. Like, That's holy shit yeah that sounds so it's good self-discipline <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> but i yeah i'd probably say if you're gonna say savory yeah definitely the roast potatoes i'd like yeah. i'd be all over that shit constantly like i would literally like my my final meal if i was to be put on death row would oh be my a God. bowl of roast potatoes some korean yes. fried chicken and some like big bitch cheesecake like Huge. This is, that's my there. favorite game like whenever i used to drink <laughs> me and me and the buds would just get hammered and at some point in the night it would come down to like all right what's your uh death row meal yeah and, oh my god yeah 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 that's good see people people tend to like shit on british food as being like bland oh and disgusting which I i'm know, sure a lot of it I is I go to america it's so bland i've been to the u.s three times now and mm -hmm. i'm not gonna lie to you everything tastes the same like okay. i i think i try and eat as well as i can when i'm out there because i do a lot of stuff on camera so i don't really like you know if i wanted to yeah. eat in and out every day i would but then i had a bad in and out like it didn't taste very good but yeah everything to me just tastes the same like i can't even okay. like i couldn't even tell you like that's what? that's hilarious yeah. yeah it's like do you know mcdonald's has a specific taste it's like the oh, same yeah. everywhere yeah like it's, you the, just know it's the greatest it's yeah, yeah the greatest taste you could have yeah i love i do love a mcdonald's and then your menu is bigger so i'll give you that yeah, right. but then your apple pies are, are pants like they're absolutely dead like in really? the UK, we have like crispy apple pies 
Oh, like wow. they're like it's not like apple pies as in like the thick pastry. It's like yeah. thin and crispy, and it's so good. That sounds really good. You know, they said that like McDonald's in Mexico is like a million times better. I've I've had McDonald's in Mexico, so good. Yeah, that is yeah. amazing to me. Yeah, no McDonald's is McDonald's yeah, actually might be one of mine. But okay, so like, so you're talking about like bland as in like like healthy food because healthy food here is horrible, oh, which is yeah, the reason like, why we're all so goddamn fat. But yeah. yeah, I think I I remember. So the first time I went to LA, I was mm-hmm. like, I'm gonna cook because I'm really not feeling getting takeaway every day. Yeah. But then even when I went to Target and I saw twenty dollars for some chicken, I was like, absolutely not. I was like, crazy, What's the-? isn't it? I was like, because I was trying to feed like all, all the people in my team as well, because I was like, guys, I don't want you to be going out and paying for food every night like yeah. so i'm trying to feed four men and i'm like ah, i don't know how to do this it's like having four children so yeah um i was like okay it probably is better if you guys just go and eat what you want and i will try and find something healthy so i think i ended up just eating tender greens like the steak um, and yeah. with mashed potatoes and the broccoli and i was like this is so dead like yeah, even in, it's, in the UK, it's like we have Miller and Carter, which is like a steak house, which does uh-huh. stuff like that. But there's so much option. Do you know what I mean? Like you can right. choose whether to have like fries or you can have like roasted potatoes or baby potatoes or like different types that you can go with your steak. And then you have different sauces that go on your steak. Yeah. And things like that. In the US, it's just like, here's your steak and it's cold and it's really thin. It's <laughs> like That's pretty much the U. I mean, that is kind of like the US yeah. in a nutshell. Like it, mm-hmm. like on, like we are definitely a place where, on paper, it sounds amazing, and yeah. then once you're here, you're like, huh? Oh, I love it is... though. I never want to come home. Really? Yeah, but I think it's because I, I think it's just because you know I spend, I go out there for two weeks, I get laid a whole bunch, you know, I do all my camera stuff, and then I'll yeah. be like, and then I'll come back, and I'm like, oh, I'm not like, well, I'm, I'm a nobody. Do <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like yeah but yeah but that's a uh yeah i mean but you could be going anywhere in the world and if that's happening to you you're not gonna want to leave yeah no exactly i just feel like so especially in the u.s you know every time um you know especially as like a, a sex worker in the uk we have so much prejudice against us and i know obviously you do have that in the uk yeah for sure but i feel way more welcome i've been to um obviously Vegas mm-hmm. um, and LA and I'm actually coming to Nashville in like really <laughs> yeah my friend's doing a boxing fight so I was like I'm okay. gonna go there so I'm gonna go to Houston and Nashville um okay so but every time that I've been there it just do you know what I mean it's like I can do what I want and I can you know yes. like Americans especially um on of like subscribers wise americans are so lovely and they're so respectful Mm -hmm. whereas in the uk they're like i'll tip you ten dollars to come and meet me now that's crazy (laughs) yeah (laughs) so i'm like that is wild but i'm not like i'm not obviously not shitting on uk people at all yeah there are some really nice ones but there's just such a big um uh, the uk hates taboo like that's the the main thing they hate anything taboo we're more reserved for sure yeah way more yeah like um it's like we all love stuff but we all hate it like it's like it's like people <laughs> love to watch me like they'll oh. tell me how much they love watching me but then they'll like hate me as a person they'll be like but you're disgusting i love right. watching you do the thing you do but i don't want i like i would never date you and like this is something that, that, that people let me know all yeah. the time i would no one's ever gonna marry you but don't stop doing what you're doing i'm like <laughs> okay <laughs> like yeah. i'm yeah. sure it will happen at some point i was like but then it, it i think it's just very inspiring to me because you know when you do get a lot of this negativity and when i do go to the u.s and uh you know i, I get lucky enough to meet people who have been through the motions i've worked with people who've been in the industry for like years and years and i'm just like i just feel kind of that little bit of sense of like okay my life like isn't over i haven't made a bad decision like it's a very it's a it's everyone else's problem it's never my problem like yeah you know i'm not the one that's that's got anything wrong with me because right. i chose 
to do the job that I've chosen to do. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Because so. it's, yeah, it's people's insecurities that come out and then they just put them onto you. Yeah. But yeah. my main thing is just like, why do you care? Like, you know, when people talk about um, anything to do with anyone else, like it doesn't even matter. It's like, even if someone was like, oh, have you seen uh, Cody's got some different glasses on? It's like, why do you care? Like, why do yeah. you care? Like, what, I, what, what yeah. difference does this make to your life? Like, yeah, there is a, uh, a real problem in the world of like not minding your own goddamn business. I know. <laughs> you know, like of, the, of it just being like, oh my God, I have a social media account. I have to use this to tell people how they're living incorrectly. Yeah, which is I know. And you hilarious. Know what's so funny is that I was raised Catholic. Yeah, and the Hell amount yeah. of Christians, the amount of Christians in my comments all the time, <laughs> and I don't like bringing religion to it. But I'm just like, yeah. bitch, you got the Bible quote wrong. I was like, I used to have to write that out in my sleep. You, you don't think I know the Bible? I know the Bible. Yeah. I was like, right now, you judging me is the first fucking. Yeah, Testament. like that's straight up. You, you, you've sinned just by judging me. I'm I like, know. that's the first, the first rule. And you know, uh, another thing as well is that people always think that the Lord's name in vain <laughs> means when you say, "Oh my God," that's not it. That's I, not what it is. It's when yes. you use his own word against him to um, be for your agenda. Like, yes. and I, I, you know, I uh, again being neuro, neuro um, divergent, I like. I never understood it. So like I'd be in school and they'd be like, yeah. And then he like um, cut the C in half and I'd be like, okay, but how, <laughs> how, how did that happen though? Because like nobody's done it since and we can't yeah. see it. So it would be this thing of like, I don't understand it, but I can understand why people want to be part of a community that like, but it is, right. it's, I don't know. It's just one of those things, isn't it? But I don't know. People, it, it's just crazy to me. That's, that, that's the most thing I'll get is, is Christians and uh, yeah. Muslims and you know everyone who's who's got like a certain way of living their life mm -hmm. and it's just like well in most of these um in most of these oh, I don't want to call them books because it sounds very disrespectful but in most of the teachings that a lot of these religions have it mostly just says don't judge others don't like the Quran in the Bible in all of these mm. different teachings it's always don't like live how you what like treat treat yourself uh, treat other people how you want to be treated right don't judge people and also jesus's best friend was a prostitute so why are you coming at me i was like because mary mary magdalene she changed so well, she uh, wasn't I, a prostitute she was at first that's how we met her mm -mm. Mm -hmm. are you sure because i'm pretty sure 100%. that i'm pretty sure that like the mary the whole mary magdalene prostitute thing is just a mistranslation no, I swear she was. I mean, I know that like in like the old King James version, it says that she's a prostitute, but I think that they've like shown that that was a mistranslation of like the Hebrew. But it's like, um, so, you know, the quote about gay people um, where it says if a man lies with another man, he shall be yes. stoned. That was um, Hitler. Hitler changed that over back in the 1940s when it got translated from thingy because really? he wanted to put more people in concentration camps so he wanted to include lgbt so if it was it was a, if a man lies with a boy as in pedophilia yeah 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 so that's what the original quote was in latin and then they changed it and dialed it back and were like mm, yeah. we're, we're gonna hate the gays actually uh we need to put more people in these concentration camps so we choose the gays like oh my god so it's just like I mean, I don't know. It's crazy. I why am I? I've literally come on here. I'm like, I'm not even shit talking religion. I'm not like. No, 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 no. It's not a. It's not an anti-religion thing. It's an anti-hypocrisy, which you know is found in religion, but it's found in all sorts of things. Like it, yeah. it's not a. It's not being anti-religious to like criticizing certain aspects of a religion or the way that the religion is like done is not yeah. being anti-religious. Because I'm. I, I mean, I'm in it. I consider myself an atheist, but like, I'm also not anti-religious. Yeah, all. me too. I but, feel like everybody wants a purpose in life, don't they? they yes. Included. And that's one of the main things is that people really want to feel included in something. And like this, uh, this comes up to, you know, things like religion or like sports teams or, mm -hmm. um, you know, any sort of opinion that people form for uh, any sort of societal structure that makes people feel comfortable about being here it makes yeah. them feel so much better. Like yeah. you know, one person will have an opinion and if, if a lot of group of people have the same opinion, they feel included and that's what right. they all off to. Like that's yeah. just how people work.
yeah because nobody wants to be alone being alone is scary so yeah exactly i mean i'm like this is, i think this is one of those things with with my job is that you mm -hmm. know there's it is there is that like fear of being alone sometimes because people tell you all the time and then even yeah um i mean i've even before doing the job that i do like my body count was super low like i yeah, i yeah. had boyfriends <laughs> and that was about it like you know it's dramatically increased since that point but hell yeah i uh <laughs> i like i've just always really been on my own do you know what i mean so i'm not yeah. scared of being alone but then right. the, the the people telling me that i'm going to be alone and also having that pressure of also being a woman in a society where people tell you to have kids and get married. Huh, it's like yeah. this weird juxtaposition of like, no, that's not what I want, but everybody's telling me. So right. Because like, hmm. what's crazy is like, so like I'm, I usually stay single. Like I'm not a big like relationship person. Just mm. I like doing my own shit. I like being able to watch like the movies I want to watch and not have to like deal with other shit. It's it's all selfish, completely selfish. But also yeah. <laughs> there is a 100% a double standard of me staying single versus you staying single. Like I'm oh, seen yeah. as like the uh the bachelor like oh like a like how George Clooney used to be, you know, before he yeah, watched name. Like exactly. it was like a a cool thing yeah. for him to always be single. Whereas like yeah. if you're 50 and single, people are like, "Oh, there must be something wrong with her." Yeah. Which is crazy. Oh. I mean, that's so crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I always find that a, it's very strange because I'm like, as a woman, um, being single doesn't necessarily mean something's wrong with people. I right. think a lot of people do rush into relationships and that's the sole reason why divorce rate is so high because people <laughs> get pressured into having children. It's like yeah. you're wondering why your parents' marriage didn't work out. Uh, they were literal 18, 19 year olds when they had you. Like they were yeah. literal children. Like I'm I'm a 26 year old, 17 year old. Like, come on now. <laughs> like, do you think I can really handle a child? I can't even handle a puppy. Like, yeah. so yeah. It, it, I think it is it the double standard to say that, you know, women can't have this and men can have this and, and all of this sort of thing. I think, why don't you just shut the fuck up and let people do what they want? Like, I just, yeah. I don't, it's just, it's so crazy to me. You know, I've been, the amount of podcasts I've been on where people are like, well, aren't you going to need a man to protect you? I'm like, look at these fucking guns. From like, what? Tell me that I got, what, <laughs> what, from other men? Like, the, or the men that you're also scared of? Like, I mean, we're not, I mean, we're not in, like, Gotham. Like, you don't need it. <laughs> I'm like, is everyone carrying machetes? Like, maybe in London, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm like, what do you expect? Like, to I, protect. I mean, that's great that is such a great because you're obviously like a a very successful person on your own so like yeah. what is it that you need like like if you got into a relationship i would never imagine that it would be because like oh my god i have to have somebody here to like take care no. of me. like it would I've, just be like, because it was time to be in one like every person, man that i've been and, with I'm such a mum when it comes to friendships, relationships, anything like that. Like I am, okay. I really take care of people. And mm -hmm. for, for that reason, I always end up with men who also just want a replica of their mother. <laughs> and that's like not, it's not an, a problem until it becomes yeah. a problem, you know, things yes. like not being able to do your own laundry and stuff like that. And, you know, not being able to get a job or anything like that. And obviously I'm like, I need someone who's going to be an asset to my life and not a burden. Yeah. Like I, I feel like as a relationship, you can have two sides and you're both coexisting together mm -hmm. and your lives are running like this. You should never be like this on top of each other and trying yeah. to get through life because you know, the, you know, the biggest bullshit that people say, they're like, I need to not be in a relationship because I need to work on myself. Oh fuck. Like, That's shut up yeah. no you don't because you can be in a you can love someone so much but you are allowed to be your own person right so if you're in a relationship where you're sitting there and you've got to have your location on and that they're like you know they're on your case 24 7 they're scared you're going to cheat on them i i was on my own for long enough to realize that if somebody's going to cheat on me that that's their problem I, like it's not because i'm better looking than them it's not because i'm mm. better than them as a person i'm like that is a them problem like they don't want a relationship so yeah you know um, yeah 
so it, I think it is kind of growing, but you it's having to want to work for it, you know? Like a lot of mm. people won't be in a relationship with me because of what I do, because they're scared of the fact that a penis goes in a vagina and they feel like the woman is then owned by somebody else. And I'm like, yeah. strangely enough, like having four people watching you bang on camera uh, and also having your makeup touched up every five minutes really is not that intimate. Like, yeah. you know, it is literally just like me playing Jenga and you know oh no it's all fallen like do you know what i mean to yeah. me uh it doesn't it i don't know it just doesn't correlate it doesn't make right it's like you think you think daniel radcliffe is harry potter like <laughs> yeah yeah <We> know. <laughs> yeah well yeah i mean that because that ultimately is what it is it's acting but i mean like if if i if you were in a relationship with somebody who's in like a, a mainstream movie and they were filming a sex scene like how is that any different other than the fact that they just go in a couple more inches like that's yeah. that's pretty much the difference like otherwise it's still there's a camera crew there's makeup there's more i would argue all this actually stuff. that films are more intimate because you're spending a lot of time with that person do you know what i mean like well, that actually is probably true too like, yeah who am I talking today do you know what i mean like that is that is definitely true because there also has to be way more chemistry aside from the sex scene in a movie whereas yeah. like i mean in a, I in got porn, people like you know like brad pitt leading jennifer anderson you know i wasn't even old enough for that but i've looked into that drama and that is crazy yeah. like this why yeah. things like that happen like oh, there's a million examples of that of people either divorcing someone because they met someone on a movie set or they were already single and then they end up together like that happens yeah. so much and it's because you were with this person filming like exactly. you're you're faking a an entire relationship that eventually might become real whereas in porn yeah. i mean you're faking just the sex part like yeah because to me it's like it's a very strange thing because where all the intimacy is taken away there's yeah. no i don't it's just you know like you know how how silly would you feel if you had to pretend that you like were a completely different person uh like a oh. teacher something like that and like yeah do you know what i mean like there there's just nothing in it like that is romantic when it comes to wanting to be in a relationship with them right obviously. the chemistry has to be great like you can have good chemistry with someone but i think i think because what it is is that men think this the general consensus is men men fall in love based on emotion and women fall in love based on sex so i think this fear is like mongered people into thinking that women will fall in love with anyone they have sex with that's not how it works like right. women can still have sex with anybody that they want however yeah. if if their partner man or woman whatever they're into shows mm -hmm. them any sort of intention that they want that relationship that's where it goes downhill so okay. for example if i hit up a dating app yeah and some guys like let me take you out on a date i'm like okay cool there's no conversation about you know i he just wants to take me on a date he then holds my hand on the date he then uh holds opens up the door for me he treats me like um a woman like you know that he potentially wants to date. ask me all questions about my life my family you know um and then you know, we go on another date and we go on another date. And then eventually, let's say by like the third or fourth date, we then have sex. And that's it. I don't hear from him again. Why are you doing that? Like you're, you're in both emo like in emotionally investing all of this time for what? Like so you could have just told me you just wanted to fuck. I'd do that too. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. and I think a lot of guys and girls are scared of rejection and scared of having that conversation. Yes. So I want to have sex. Like, because... You can have that without all the strings, but then guys, men, they get guys the don't. The guys don't think that that's true. So, so guys do not think that there is a woman on the planet that they could just say like, "I want to have sex with you," and then it'll happen. Like, I'm, you, I'm, know, you, know, you know, it's crazy because like I think if more people were honest, it would be fine. But I think a lot yes. of men are scared of rejection. I think right. that's what it is. Is that I think? Well, I've been. I was a salesperson before I did this job. You know, like. I've dealt with the biggest no's ever. Like people yeah. constantly, I used to have to call 600 people a day on, on like, and yeah, people yeah. would be like, no, go away, fuck off. Like yeah. I have not, and that's, that's what it is. And I like, you know, I've, I've gone up to guys and asked for their number before 
and I've had no's and um, I've that's told people wild. that I, what I do and then they don't want me, you know, yeah. like, well, like, oh, that's too much for me. Da, da, da. Like, yeah. oh, so, you know, it's just, it's all about intention and like the way that you put it. If you start a conversation by talking sexual, a woman is going to be turned off by that. Right. You know, or right. I'm, I liked you because you have nice tits. Okay. Where's bring the game, like at least, like bring the energy, yeah. the vibes. You don't, we don't need to talk about like my childhood trauma, but like, you know, bring something to the table that's going to be, you know, a little bit of banter or something funny or like, oh, yeah, like I really want to have sex with you, but don't really. Do you know what I mean? There's just like some, there's things that you can do, but you so have I to should, get rejection. So I should stop leading off my conversations like that yeah you know maybe <laughs> maybe like uh, i don't even know what to suggest man don't even because <laughs> usually i start off i just go hey nice tits uh nice to meet you yeah and, you no know, you should next time you should just be like hey it seems yeah. forward yeah seems forward but uh, like, oh, i'll give it a, a bit chance of an advance, but See, I usually do the uh, the reverse handshake, like where somebody sticks out their hand, then I stick out the same hand. So we end up just yeah. touching fingertips and it really throws people off, uh, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's no, I, I imagine it is probably very difficult for you to find. It's just crazy that, you know, I mean, ultimately it comes from jealousy, like dudes who see that you having sex with people on camera must mean that they are not good enough for you or else why would you want to have sex anywhere else but with me but it's it's a job like it's not yeah. i mean and, and it's a fun job i'm sure like i'm sure a lot i'm sure you yeah. highly enjoy it but also it's work like it's not yeah. it's not like me going on tinder and being like oh who can i go have sex with tonight? yeah like, a lot of the times i'm like would you rather someone do it in front of your face or behind your back <laughs> like, oh that's a good yeah, uh, yeah yeah so it, i don't know i think like i would love to if i was to start seeing a man to actually and as, as painful as it is i you know i had an ex-boyfriend who went through all of my of library uh, and watched a video and cried like of me and a girl of one of my friends and I come home my laptop's sitting there I'm like what are you doing I was like is this some sort of exposure therapy because we'll bring up the BBC like you want you want to watch that let's go full throttle you don't want to just watch the girl girl stuff let's go like he's like yeah. I was like why did you do that to yourself I was like that's not that's insane. It's like the definition of insanity is doing something that's going to hurt you. <laughs> like, did he not know what you did? He did. He literally knew. He just out of interest wanted to look. So he and had I never like, seen it before. Like no, he had never. He'd done it with me. He'd filmed with me. But this, the... this whole thing, he knew all about it. But it's because I said that this one friend was pretty. But obviously, she's my friend, so I'm going to oh, say this is pretty. That's so then crazy. She's like, obviously gone down a rabbit hole staring at my laptop like i'm gonna go look at that i'm gonna look at that i need to look like do you know what i mean i'm like i can't remember. i'm like i'm not even gonna say sorry for that i was like because no you. he's like it looked real i was like thank you oh. yeah, <laughs> yeah like, hey. <laughs> wow they, i appreciate <laughs> like, the compliment yeah yeah it is but we're not in love like yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah. i mean so uh, but i think it's i think my it's because my style my my uh, acting style is very passionate. Um, oh yeah, and that's what it is. And I have quite. I maintain eye contact. Like that's that's just my style, you know. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. So it comes like, across I, more intimate than maybe yeah, other people. It's like intimate and enjoying it, and like really having a good time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and like it's you know I'm not saying that it's not all 100 percent acting. Uh, yeah. Like the other way around. Uh, I'm no, not no, saying no, it's you. not yeah. acting. Um, but you know it's it, it that. It's because I'll have a bit of banter with someone when I meet them. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like, uh, I don't know. I um, was working with, like, Kieran Lee, for example. Uh -huh. I was working with him. Uh, we sat down and we had banter about football for about an hour. And then we were like, ah, do you want to film now? Like, do you know what I mean? So right, right. it's like that we already had that. It's like we don't – I don't need chemistry, but I need mm -hmm. chemistry. I, like, yes. I need – not. It doesn't have to be sexual chemistry, but I have to have something that's like, okay, I like this person, you know? Right, right, right. It's it's getting yeah. a judge of character. Yeah. And but I'm not necessarily that. for like a romantic way. It's just like, I want to know that you're like an all right guy. 
like yeah. yeah and most of these people are married you know like everyone's yeah. married in the industry i'm like yeah i'm like you all you all got wives like, oh, it is, yeah I, I mean i'm sure you know to most people they just can't wrap their heads around that at all no. but well, for men it's fine but like for, for the guys yeah. in the industry they're like oh, fucking that's chilling like you know he just yeah. gets to go and have sex with loads of girls and then come home to his wife and have the perfect right. life and then for a woman it's like oh, what that man must be a cuck like he must be and it's like yeah what do you mean like they're all female com- cucks <laughs> yeah oh for sure and also that like that guy the guy who's in a like a real relationship with someone who does porn is probably more confident in himself than uh, the boyfriends that i've other. met of people i know and the husbands and they are honestly like so i I meet people, yeah, and I just get this vibe, like, straight up. If they're a bad no. person, um, I don't know what it is. I can't even tell you, but I will get this feeling in my stomach, like, yeah. like here, and I'm like, I don't want to be around you. Like, it's like, oh. I do. I, I mean? I'm with you. Yes. Oh, yeah. And I then, get the same thing. And then when I'm with um, people who are good people, I feel this, like, so calm. And, like, yeah. my body just feels very, like, Okay, like I really like you being in my space, even though you haven't even said anything. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's like, yeah. oh, you're not a threat to me, but it's not like that. I'm not saying that you know this the person who isn't doesn't seem like a good person isn't going to be nice, or you know they could be the yeah. nicest person in the world, but I don't. I feel like there's something about you that isn't right. Do you know it's what like I mean? D- dogs do it. I mean, Jesus, I'm, I'm not trying I'm to compare you to a dog, <laughs> but, but like dogs have this thing where like if a bad person walks in they you can see it on them that they get on edge like yeah my, it's like it's this weird my pop, like yeah we both of us <laughs> both of us are the same <laughs> like uh i met a friend's uh friend's boyfriend and i'm like you know i don't want to spend this whole episode thinking that i'm shit talking men but obviously from my experience you're not most of my situations are about men i've met bad girls as well obviously yeah I've met awful ones that I fingered as well. So, uh, <laughs> same. So, yeah. Uh, uh, so, um, so yeah. One of my friends brought her boyfriend over. Oh my god! My dog's like full up back up. She was just pees all over the floor. Yeah. And I'm like, now I get your vibe. I was like, I get the vibe. I know why you just pissed because I feel like I'm gonna piss too. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, and that's my then, reaction too. Like, this I'll, guy. I'll piss uh, it. Yeah. Yeah basically said that he was gonna try and get my friend drunk to have sex with her Jesus and i was like hey Christ. did you just say that to my face or that so, yeah. is so yeah. crazy i know i was like surely she'll just want to sleep with you sober like you know you yeah you don't sleep with also drunk. like why would i mean i know that that is obviously a thing guys do but like how is that like a thing that crosses your mind like i'm not saying i'm some fucking angel which i'm not but like but but i would never want to drunk you know i have not had drunk sex for years like i've done it way more sober than i've (laughs) yeah (laughs) like yeah yeah i mean i just like i can't imagine ever wanting to have sex with somebody who doesn't want it just as much as i do and if you have to get someone drunk to do it like what does that tell you a lot of the times for me, uh, it, so I used to teach a lot of sex education on TikTok. Like consent yeah. was my biggest thing. You know, I've been put in situations where my consent's been taken away, and I was yeah. taught very young what consent was. So when even even taught being taught that young, like 10, 11 years old, because my mum was a child protection police officer, oh, so okay. obviously she was very overprotective with things, and you know. Who knew that I could know all this information and still get assaulted? <laughs> like, who knows? Yeah. But do you know what I mean? And uh, a lot of people, whenever I mention that, people always go to me, well, it's your fault because you're a slag. I'm like, well, I wasn't but when I was 15, but fair enough. And um, <laughs> That's so it, crazy. To say that like, well, to this someone. is why you do what you do because of trauma. I'm like, no, I just wanted to be self-employed and it's easier to stick things in my holes than build up a whole, like, furniture business or something like that amen but so i was just so my main thing was like trying to teach people consent Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's not even just consent it's like things like aftercare you know when people are into like bdsm and and, or like you know really rough situations or things like that and it's just having that conversation and you know what the reasons why they would go viral just men telling me i'm wrong men telling me i'm wrong like, that is hilarious. And I'm like, 
what do you mean? They're like, you can't tell, you can't even, you can't tell me, you can't tell me why did it, did it. And I'm like, I can like, and then, or people would always make like uh, sexual assault jokes. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. what do you mean? like, cause my slogan was like, have fun, stay safe and always get consent. Like that was at the end of all of my videos. And then they'd be like, what does consent mean? And I'd be like, are you, are you okay? Are you literally, are you 12? What or, the hell does that, I mean, what does that question mean? Like what, I mean, how does, how is that even a question someone has? Like I am not a particularly intelligent individual. Uh, I can fake it pretty well, but uh, I feel like I have an idea of what consent is. Yeah. Well, <laughs> like, I always see the arguments. I see arguments all the time of, um, I think I saw one the other day about how there was a, uh, you know, like, uh, am I the asshole post on Reddit? And oh, this guy yeah. basically assaulted his wife, right? Yes. See it? Yes. He was really sore. And she, he basically let his urges take over. I'm like, what rapist urges or like what, what urges? Like, Holy cause I don't fuck. think I, if somebody was in pain, I wouldn't want to see them in any more pain. Like I don't really right. have yeah. any. So anyway, th there's this whole conversation on Twitter and all these people are going, yeah, but that's his wife. Oh, or that like, doesn't... Oh, no, it's not, it's not assault because you know, she wanted to do it. And I was nah. like, well, first of all, she was reluctant. Because she goes, if any, just for context, she said that she was sore. She didn't want to, uh, she didn't want to, but he was like, I want to. And she was like, okay. And then she, nah. he pushed her head down. And I'm sorry, this is a, a, a trigger warning for anybody. Um, yeah. But he pushed her head down and went ham. Like, and then afterwards was like, oh, I think I've done something wrong. And it's like, you know, if you do feel that vibe, uh, you've probably done something very you wrong. Did. Like, you did. You did. Yeah. So anyway, he's everyone Fucking in the comments hell. going, oh, yeah, no, yeah, but like, you know, she said yes. And I'm like, you do realize any time when you're doing the deed, any time someone goes, I'm not enjoying this. And there's so many different subtle ways. And the problem is, right, is that I consider myself a very outgoing, you know, I've been teaching people about sex and consent and enjoying yourself and enjoying your own body and things like mm -hmm. that for years. Um, and, you know, I've even had things happen up to recently and I've still just frozen in my, in my, and absolutely flab flabbergasted just in my, in my own space. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it's For like, sure. how can I, how can even I, someone who speaks out so much about this shit, when things happen to me, I still go mute like it happened the first time. Do you know what I mean? I'm just like, how? Yeah. It's so, yeah. It's just so important. Like, it's so yeah, important. Yeah. Cause it's also, I mean, it shouldn't be on you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that, that is a way that people look a lot of, you know, I mean, it's not actually just guys, like a lot of women look at it too. Like, oh yeah, women like, don't, women are like, oh, I love it when they do this. I'm like, well, is it, do you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And like, yeah. I think a lot of people don't really understand, like, especially with like the porn industry, you know, we get lists, lists and lists of do's and don'ts and you have to fill them out mm. and you have to do it on camera and you have to say that you're okay with it. And right. you're also confirm that you're you know um that you're not under the influence of anything that you're safe yeah. like you're not being anything bad's happening to you um or anything like that so i think it is it's one of those things isn't it but a lot of parents used to come at me on tiktok as well and be like oh my kids are too young to know this and i'm like hell no they're not i'm sorry but you know i had friends uh, especially muslim community friends um one of my best friends from like younger school and uh, she got her period when she was 10 and she had no idea what it was yeah uh, and it was like she thought she was dying. She came to me and thought she was dying. And I was oh, like, I and luckily my mom had given me a book that told me exactly what it was and that it might come. So I'm sitting there trying to explain to her, like, this is normal. None of her sisters, her sisters were like um, 18, 19, 20. They had no idea what it, like, didn't want to tell her because they were like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah. like, it's not okay. So every time these, like, young women had got their period, they were all like, I'm dying. Like, I'm literally, because it's, it's you know, it's not something that they would speak about. So to me, it would just shock me because even when I, even when I lost my virginity, I told my mum because she was like, were you safe? Like, did anything bad happen? Do you know what I mean? Like, how was yeah. it? Did, like, did you feel like it was something that you want to do again? Like, it sounds very strange because 
you know, it's not like we have this weird relationship where we go in the ins and outs of our sex life, but she just wanted to make sure that I was totally okay. Yes. You know? Yeah. It was, a, it was a, like a maternal check-in. Yeah. And that, <laughs> like, that's what it yeah. always was, you know? So for me, I just feel like it is important. I don't think it's that damaging to children, not even children, but teenagers to learn about things that are going to yeah. be uncomfortable. So things like, I don't know, I, I did a TikTok on like snapping the banjo for guys. Because you know that happens. On what? Like, okay, so we call it snapping the banjo in the UK. So you know, like the little bit. Oh, you guys, do you, do you have it? Because you're without foreskin. Do we have the banjo? Yeah. We, we have banjos. <laughs> like. Yeah, so you can snap it like whilst doing the deed. So like, not the Wait, banjo. No, hold on. No, no, I'm talking about like an actual band, no, like deliverance. No, no, like the one on your penis. Like at the, so you know where the force gets. There's no is banjo like, on. Is, mine, we call it a banjo. So I can't remember what it's called, but there's Why? like a, there's something that kind of like, it's a bit of skin, but it rips and like it's between like the tip and the foreskin. Okay. That you might have oh. to take if. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. See, any, most of the fellas around yeah. here, that thing's long gone. Yeah. So like a girl yeah. can sit on it and then it can like really break it and then guys think they're dying because Fuck there's it. so much blood coming out like because it's like on an artery like it can spurt out so it's like just things like that or like um you know i did stuff on like uh giving head and you know saying oh you don't need to like shove it down the back of your throat and stuff like that and people are like this is so awful for children I'm like you know but you know there are some kids out there who like i, I lost my virginity at 13 do you know what i mean like yeah but not, that was not a situation where I wanted to do that, but I was a very grown up child. And there are a lot of children who think they're grown up and they're not. Yeah. Uh, I, I, was, I was definitely one of them for sure. Same. And then yeah. just making children aware of situations, you know, like I know a lot of people that have been groomed online uh, oh, from yeah. men and like they'll think, oh, it's fine because I'm 15 and he's 18. I'm like, yeah, but what 18 year old is interested in a 15 year old? Like, Yes. So that was always a huge thing. Like whenever I was in, you know, like our high school, because like you're 18 to 14 are in the same building. Yeah. And there was a lot of 18 year olds dating 14 year olds. And every time I saw it, I was like, that's weird. That is, it's legal technically in the U S like at the time, cause there's a thing called like the senior law that like protects yeah. that and whatever. Okay. Legal. Sure. It always made me feel so weird yeah because like, i feel like age gap i think it's one of those things as well like with age gap relationships you do see a lot of uh a lot of the like alpha male men talking about you know these are all the bitches that hate on me so i'm like <laughs> but you just want to shag 14 year olds so uh, i'm obviously yeah. not in the caliber of woman that you want so yeah um but you know they always go on about like yeah she has to be 18 virgin and i'm like okay Who you're literally fuck? 50 what? 50 what sorry uh like so it's just like um, no i didn't I, want that when i was 18 no i think it's not there is that fantasy isn't there of like young women but this is so controversial but That's i just feel like women who look like children should not be doing only fans that or porn that... in general i don't think like you know i know it's kind of it can be a bit um not uh like prejudiced against people who look a certain way but yeah. i feel like if you physically look very young like i've seen girls who look about 10 years old yes. do only fans, but they use the baby face filters as well to in to make it worse right or, or they'll make themselves look even younger than they I, actually are that free that creeps me out so much and i know that they're of age it's you know legal whatever it's one of those things where it's like i don't care that this is legal <laughs> like, no, because like, it doesn't I look don't legal. care. Like it's but you know bro, the girls weird. who look the youngest do the best on OnlyFans. They do the best. What a shock! See, to me, I go, I go opposite. Like, give me like forty five. Like, yeah, that, I that's want, always I feel been like that, Though I'm like, I want women. Do you know what I mean? Yes, like, yes, without uh, a I mean, doubt. You know, I can. I don't care what your body looks like, but you mm -hmm. need to look like a woman. Like you don't yes. have. It, but it's playing into looking being a child for me that makes me feel sick i'm like yes. i'm not being funny or anything but you know there are there's such a fine line it's like you know all these social media apps like instagram they all blame us for you know 
scaring kids and you know that you're the problem we constantly get banned for what we do but it's like hello there's actually pedophiles in every comment section of every child like yes why why are you not doing anything about pedophiles because like you know the sex workers really are just doing their own thing they don't want to attract kids but you know questionably i know some people who do very strange things on social media but then i don't know for me i i saw porn uh on social media when i was young i was a tumblr girly when i was younger so i saw a lot of it that didn't damage me should tell you what did damage me watching somebody get their head hacked off on instagram uh, oh my god or yes um, you know overage men asking me how deep my vagina is on runescape you know things like that that damaged that's a a weird question to ask no, honestly, I was probably about seven. I remember this like deep in my soul. I used to play old school RuneScape and stuff. So did I. It. I loved <laughs> yeah. it so much. And I downloaded it the other day because I was like, I need to play this again. And I yeah. haven't like stopped. But um, I remember literally this guy was like, I was, yeah, I was about seven. He literally asked me how deep my vagina was and to get a ruler out. I was fully like, excuse me. Oh. And I was on my granddad's computer and I was like, ah, so scared. Like Habbo Hotel. Just like all these different places, and I'm yeah. just like, I just don't really understand like this whole kids protection law, because to me, you know, as a child, I like early teenager, I would know what sex was, and I think sex was two between two people who loved each other, and they would do consensual things. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that was just what it was. So then with porn, I'd be like, nah, like you know, because I never really delved into the aggressive side of things or... so, yeah same I, so I'm I not think a... that kind of progresses as you get older like you know uh-huh. if, if you get into an addiction like it starts off normal and it will get worse and worse and you'll try and find the worst stuff if you're naturally a fucked up person then you will go and, and that's not a bad thing to say but uh i'm i mean like the real bad no stuff. right like not not just like slapping and and uh, bondage bdsm things like yeah, that yeah. on people all of the kink stuff is fine i'm talking about like torture and things like that yeah. like real bad stuff if you're like then that's your go to straight off the bat and you've been killing animals as a child then i've got news for you like you know what i mean yeah so yeah it's it's, it's uh it, it's just one of those things i just don't think it i just don't think it should be an issue no uh, i i firmly believe that like telling someone about something does not make them want to do it no it just exactly. makes me know about like like i remember i don't know if this is like a, a thing in the uk but we had a thing called dare it was like a drug prevention program for little kids oh. and so you'd have like this little cartoon lion that would like tell you about all the dangers of like doing crack and crystal yeah. meth there was never a time where when that lion was telling me about what crystal meth was, that I was like, God, I can't wait to try crystal meth. No. Like, I smoked weed a lot in high school and did a couple pills every once in a while. And that's it. I never went higher than that. And I never wanted to. There was there was no, like, think- learning about drugs that made me want to do it. Exactly. I don't think it's the learning, the learning side of things that make you, yeah, definitely not. Like the, I think the, the thing is, especially for sex workers, it's become very hard to survive online, but only really if you're a female. So, you know, I can't post my bum on Instagram at all without it getting taken down. Yeah. So I can't be at the beach in a bikini and turn around like in a video, (laughs) in anything, anywhere. I can't post it. It's not allowed, but you know, Tommy Lee can post a picture of his penis and it's absolutely fine. The kids are not scared of that, you know? Well, <laughs> but, it's a, then, you know, it's a, it's a national problem. treasure at this point. Uh, yeah, obviously. But yeah, that's, it's like but the wife. <laughs> it's like, you know, I'm not sitting there posting full vag on Instagram. No. You know, you know Twitter no. maybe, but you do need to be logged in on Twitter and over, over 18. Oh, Twitter's uh, a, Twitter's a whole different uh, th- a world. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, I I think people, especially because I mix football with stuff, and that's my what I what I like. I that's my hobby, including with my job, and I post about it on social media, and obviously it does help me find more people. Uh, mm-hmm. People would be like, oh yeah, you're just using it, and I'm like, well, if if I have a hobby and it can also help my job, why would I not also exactly. yeah. have that conversation? It makes me a, it niches my creativity. So right. like it's also you know, your not, goddamn life. I mean, exactly. you should you should t- talk about whatever the hell care? you're interested <laughs> like, in. Yeah. Like full yeah. back circle, what do you care? I know um, like yeah, I mean if you were into like classical music, 
why wouldn't you be why talk about it why not who cares it's your shit yeah exactly but i don't know a lot of people i think because i i do i to get into like the football space i did body painting at the emirates so which is the the arsenal football stadium yeah 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 So i went and body painted myself with a kit on uh and one i think it was the i did it four times and the last time that i did it somebody videoed me whilst i was there and called me a pedophile because i have an only fans and body painted myself at the stadium where there was kids so i was like well i wasn't handing out my only fans business cards to the kids like i'll tell right. you that I, was like, I don't even people when i'm there people don't even know because i'm sitting there asking football questions i'm not asking people to like you know subscribe to my only fans yeah whilst I'm in body paint i'm talking about football um but it went it got like 10 million views yeah 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 all these people were coming at me being like you're a pedophile that's disgusting and then when i was doing my sex ed videos people would also comment on that being like you can't talk about this because you're a pedophile sorry i was like i don't know i don't know about you guys but have you ever seen me interview a child like yeah, uh, yeah. have you ever seen me even <laughs> around children how can this be confirmed like at all right. and they're like yeah but you but we can see the under half of your boob when you body paint yourself so that's oh disgusting. no i'm like oh, i'm like i'm well, not a bit of under boob what am i gonna yeah. do now like well, I'll tell you, if i was at that stadium as a 12 year old little cody tucker it would have been a life changing day and not in a bad way. I mean, it's, it's really just like a lot of it's just parents who want to have some reason to like blame their, like taking. If I didn't their, have an OnlyFans, I'd be a hero. That's, that's the difference. If I, if I, yeah. didn't, if I didn't monetize it, everyone would be like, this is great. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Like, no, it, as soon as you monetize, like, cause people look at it as monetizing your body, which is as they look at it as being some like horrible thing, like, Oh, you're using your body to make money. So was a construction worker. I mean, I know. you know, I'm like it's, like, how is that any different? Bad. Wait till you see me get dicked down by two Batman. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> that bad. Wait till you see the rest of it. <laughs> like, Oh my God. You know I have respect for myself. <laughs> like, That's amazing. All right, so I, 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 just, yeah. I did a video on this, right? Because he, before I did this job, obviously I worked in insurance, but uh, yeah. I think just before that, I lived in my car, yeah. And I, I said to, to on TikTok, I was like, you know, you guys think I've got no respect for myself. I was like, I used to live in a Kia Bacanto, which is like a four-seater car, a tiny car. And I ate, used to eat ketchup packets from McDonald's. I'm like, you think <sighs> I have no respect for myself? I was like, I didn't have respect for myself back then. <laughs> like, I'd brush my teeth in my car and then be like, oh, okay, I gotta go work now. Like, yeah, starving that's... on the phone, like, stomach rumbling, like, yeah, you know what just I mean? Belly full of ketchup. My <laughs> God. So I'm like, you think that was bad? You, you think watching me get fucked up the arse is bad? Like, okay. <laughs> no, it's, uh, boy, that is, yeah, you have an amazing life. I mean, and I'm like, not even being like facetious, like, it's, like why not like enjoy like you're obviously enjoy doing this like or else you wouldn't be doing it like you have respect you have self-respect so like you're not gonna like put yourself into like a uh you know a situation that you're not like wanting to be in so like why does everybody else feel like they need to save you from it which is that's what's so funny to me because i'm so delicate but i'm a little bit too old to be delicate now because i'm almost past my expiry date no but no like it's an experience you know like i've i've i love meeting new people i love having that element of fun and also creativity and you know because especially i think a lot of people forget like if you don't just do porn You've got to think, I've got, I've probably got about 20 social media accounts. I fill them all up with stuff. I have to be creative. I've got to be mm-hmm. on the ball. I've got, you know, I don't, I have to be like a marketing videographer, yeah. like storyboarding, uh, video editing. I've got to do it all. Right. Like, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. And yeah it's you're... Fun. I get to do so many different jobs. Like, yeah. I'm and you're your own boss. Busy. Yeah. Like, that's the dream is to be your own boss, like to yeah. be in control of what you do when you do it. Yeah, exactly. that's, yeah. that's, yeah, it's all you no, need so, is three holes in a dream. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
well, two for me, I guess. But yeah. oh yeah, I mean, some people are into belly buttons, so. Oh my god, and I—I I mean, I got a hell of a belly button. Oh, I know. bet you do. I bet people are getting excited over that. Oh wow, they can get in line. There's... <laughs> <laughs> no, so okay. Before we go, I do have like a few little random questions I wanted to get to. Do you have time? I mean, yes. If... Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, what is the wildest request you've ever gotten? Like, do you do request videos or anything like yes. that? Okay. Uh, the weirdest one that I've got is to rub my nose and talk about vinegar. Okay. Well, I mean, I to be fair, I was kind of drunk whenever I requested that one, but yeah, that is amazing. Yeah. What well, twice? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, to rub your nose and talk about vinegar. Yeah, I like this. And to talk about vinegar. Yeah, and just be like, smells like vinegar in here. My God. I asked why. He wouldn't answer me. Yeah, I though like not even in a bad way, but sometimes I ask people why they ask me for things. Yeah. Because I'm like, what how what got you into that? I'm interested. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you think it's better that you didn't find out? Yeah. He was like, I, I don't so. know. And I was like, I feel like you do know. That's oh, no, really there's, specific. Okay, there is not a chance in hell he was telling the truth. He no. knew. I mean, he you don't have to be embarrassed. Like, honestly, I just want to know. Like, yeah, and, and also, I like, wouldn't tell anyone, not like, but it is a yeah. strange thing. Yeah, because, you know, they say, like, any kind of kink fetish, whatever, usually comes from, like, a specific moment in your yeah, you know, exactly. uh, development. Uh, so at some point, <laughs> that was go home. Oh, fuck poor poor bastard i mean hey we're all into our things i guess what's like a fetish slash kink like a pop decently popular one that you just do not get you're like i don't understand why people are into this not that you're judging them or anything you're just like Daddy, little girl yeah 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 Yeah, see Uh, i go that that's a good one or like hardcore like bdsm i i uh, yeah i I don't like i i don't understand i i for me, I'm like BDSM is kind of letting loose, but then I feel like if if it ugh, this sounds really sexist, but I feel like if it's a man who just wants to hurt women, CNC is another one for me. What's that? Because I like so consensual, non-consensual. It's like oh, a, a uh. salt fetish. So uh, for me, I'm like okay. It usually comes about when somebody is assaulted. However, if you have the fetish as the person who is the abuser i'm like uh there's a fine line there's a fine line there might be something wrong with you because i'm like it you might be consensual but you're not the one being abused do you know what i mean like i i but people are like it's totally normal because it's consensual i'm like "Mm, i think you're either re-traumatizing a victim or i don't know like for me i don't get it yeah, I I do not I don't like anything that seems degrading, if that makes sense, or humiliating. Oh, I, I don't I, like that kind of stuff. I'm like I do all of the dom the dom stuff. I okay. I do really enjoy it, but I my specific that I I do like doing like soft dom in real life. Like what's more, the what is what's soft dom? It's kind of like praise kinky, so it's kind of like mummy. Not mummy, but like, do you know what I mean? Like somebody who's okay. really like, okay, like, can you do this for me? And can you do this? And like, oh my God, you're doing so good. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, okay. it's, I don't know. It's very like, it's very soft, but you're also telling them what to do. Do you know right, what I mean? Right, right, right. Yeah, it's like, oh, wow. That's well, I can be really mean too. Like, I, I've, okay. done, I've done some, <laughs> I've done some fucked up shit. But, like you know, what? they ask for it and it's consensual. So I'm like, you know, you do you. What's something that you've done where you're just like, holy fuck, I can't believe I'm doing this? Uh, so I had a guy once, who well, actually, I do this all the time, but uh, I did. I had a guy once who uh, used his pre-cum as lip gloss. <laughs> and then I also made the same guy put a finger up his bum and then wipe it across his top lip. And then he had to sleep and then go to work with it the next day a dirty sanchez yeah but he had to like he had to do it and then he was like send me updates throughout the day being like i can still smell it and i was like <laughs> okay uh yeah. i've made people like to work people uh i have this one guy who writes me lines to manifest for me 
Okay. Yeah, so he'll like write me lines about Arsenal winning the Premier League and things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So, the, so these are like it's like an ongoing thing. Yeah, yeah like they That's they come back. Funny. Yeah, we've uh, I've got all sorts. Of, like the thing is, is that like I feel like if men want to step into that fetish, I get a lot of cuck as well. A lot of cucks, uh, guys mm-hmm. who like that sort of thing, and I just feel like you know men don't get the option to speak as much about fetishes that are. Uh, because not not all dominant fetishes have to be so degrading, but some guys do like being degraded, but in a very specific way, you know, yeah. like calling someone a pervert and like being really jokey about it. Like, you know, that's still degrading, but it's not like harsh. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? See, I think g- degrading against guys like isn't necessarily what's bothering me. It's like whenever it's like degrading against like a woman, like fucks, like bothers me. Like whenever it's like spitting in someone's face, like, you yeah. know, like you'll see ones that where you're like, Okay, yeah, this is I like don't... beyond the normal, like you know, choking, like you know, the no- somewhat normal stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, I I think there was such a a rise of it, like back in sort of like 2016, that people, yeah. you know, it was it wasn't cool out of you were vanilla, but I'm like, what's wrong with vanilla? Missionary, missionary is fine. Like, it's literally like you know, to feel the most intimate with your partner. I just I feel like you can experiment with things, but yeah. For intimacy reasons, like you should not be spitting on your partner's face in a no. setting. Like, do you know what I mean? I feel like, you know, but most things, if you watch it in porn and then you try it in real life, you feel awful. You know, I oh. wouldn't do that. Oh, you know? oh trust like, me. I, I know. I used to have this mad fantasy about like multiple girls like squirting on me. And when it actually happened, I was like, I can't breathe. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> oh no don't ruin Sad, it for no, me you're like Jeez. screaming and then your your like gullet just gets filled with water like <laughs> <laughs> so, it was really good up Jeez. until that point <laughs> look yeah i mean you are not deterring me that's my make a wish if yeah. i ever <laughs> if, if something bad ever happens to me so like, there we go but john cena make it happen yeah, yeah literally that's... i'll dm him yeah. <laughs> that's amazing okay what's so this is going to become an interesting one what is like to you the sexiest accent because i'm i'm like not even trying to kiss your ass here british is to me like number one i think you know every time i meet Depends americans the british, they but... always say mine because oh well, i have like the proper british accent don't that's I? yes like that's what it, it i think obviously you can meet people from the uk but they can have different accents but i've got like right. the proper like hermione granger like do, 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 yeah. do. do you know what i mean yeah that you have one. a gryffindor accent yeah 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 um i like what's my favorite accent i like irish accents Oh, the Irish ones yeah. are good one too. Yeah, Irish accent, and I've got Irish family, but you know, I'm that's not me saying. No, wait, that's not me saying I want to fuck my family. Uh, take that back. <laughs> no, too late. No. Too yeah. late. Clip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, like uh, I just I like the Irish accent. It's nice yeah. and Australian as well. Australian's a good one too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like a I like a good like Eastern European as well, like a oh, dog. Yeah. Like, I like so t- kind of going back to the like little girl thing. One of the things that always bothers me too about that is the like fake like little girl voice. I hate that so much. I like for oh my god, please, please, oh, me. I do not. I like kind of a not like a deep voice, like <laughs> or anything yeah. like that. But I like a person to sound like a grown woman. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, it is it's just i don't know i think it's mad to me because yeah you have to i feel like you have to be confident when you're having sex because confidence most of the time will equal consent because you'll be confident enough to talk about what you want to do yes if somebody is giving you mixed signals especially if they are acting young or being you know, pretending to be naive and things like that. E, yeah, you know. don't like it. Don't like it. Don't yeah. like it. What's a like a non-sexual turn on for you? Uh, I, I love it when people do things for me, like not in a bad way, but like say, for example, if somebody can see that I'm having a bad day or that I'm really busy and they're like, oh, do you want me to check this for you? Or like, uh, okay. should I make food 
or like did you want me to order you something yeah or like oh should i like do your washing do you know like like active yeah. service but not like buying me things like or yeah like it's it you don't have to it doesn't have to involve money it's mm-hmm. literally just that whole thing of like you can analyze the fact that i am very stressed and you want to help me i'm like yeah, you want to help me little old me yeah. with the eye bags oh my god like, well, <laughs> it's so it's nice. somebody like being an asset to your life instead yeah. of like seeing that you're stressed and making it worse yeah they're instead like, oh, wanting no. to do the opposite yeah exactly like just being like oh should i take the dog out for a walk oh, yeah see that's my, like uh... can i suck your dick first like you know what i mean like it's just like <laughs> you know things like that just like i uh, i just think it's great like, yeah see that's that's definitely like kind of my my thing like i i mean i can i'm probably like a little selfish in some ways but i definitely and very Are you a good Leo? At, uh, Sagittarius. Oh, I've I've got loads of Sagittarius placements. I'm a the, yeah. See, like I, I, yeah, I definitely like to provide a service. Yeah. You know, like, like I if like I, that, though. I think the Sagittarius yeah. in me loves to. I think I love doing things for people. Yeah. And suddenly I've got like this whole plate of all these different things that people need, and I'm like, oh no. Yeah. I've got nothing left. <laughs> I'm like trying to hold all this stuff. Like, oh my god. Yeah. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I definitely yeah can do that too. And then, I think I think it's when like I appreciate not even the return, but I appreciate it when people notice that I've done things for them and they yeah. want to give it back without eating, but, but never not like straight away. I'm saying like, right. say for example, like I don't know, I bought them a coffee like five months ago, and they go, oh, I'll shout you for dinner because you bought me coffee and oh like, okay you know things like that yeah like, yeah yeah like but not to like sit there and be like oh i'm gonna like i love you because of it just it's just like little things like that it's like remembering stuff or like remembering yes. certain things that i've said or been like oh like you have that like do you know what i mean i love that right because it, it puts you as a person like of importance because yeah. they, they remember like they t- they are choosing to like remember maybe something that seems kind of small but remembering it over time and wanting to like make it yeah you know, but it's do only small stuff you, you know i don't really care yeah. if like people forget my birthday or stuff like that yeah like, yeah i'm just like uh, just no i yeah i don't really give two shits about that kind of stuff it's more just like like you know give a shit about me in some way you know yeah like, yeah and then last one uh What's a movie that everyone loves but you hate? Um, oh God! Uh, can I change it to people like actual? Oh, people? right. Oh I yes. Have a couple, and I, I'm sitting on this. I'm dying on this hill. And apparently, there. So I hate Lord. I think Lord is oh. awful. Yes. Like, I don't know what it is. Every time my music comes on, I'm like get that off. Hate um, it. And also, um, who else is it? uh florence and the machine apparently i have something oh, i kind of well, i kind of like florence i used and the to machine. love her i used to love her but i just I don't know every time i hear her music now i'm like to turn it off now see i am finally starting to feel pretty good about myself with the fact that for the past i don't know 10 years i have been shitting on drake relentlessly i and... drake's only good album was uh the one that had teenage dream on it yeah 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 I know. Uh, um fuck uh lo- no certified lo- no 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 well i can't what's it called it's uh oh, no sorry not teenage dream teenage fever i used to like marvin's room see i i have always hated that son of a bitch so much and everybody always like fucks with me about it like oh you just hate him because he's popular nah, bullshit i'm a massive fan of the beatles and it doesn't get much more popular than that um always hated him and now look you know look who was right and i've been going on and on about this little fucker being a little groomer and doing all this creepy shit and then it you know I, I feel finally vindicated. Now yeah. that everybody knows this dude is a creep. He, there's just, it's that, it, like that little sense that you were talking about. I've had it about that piece of shit for a very long time. Oh, and, I get it with so many celebrities. You know, like, and the Jared worst Leto. Thing is, right? Yeah, Jared Leto. And the worst thing is, that I, uh, same thing with influencers too. But then the worst thing is, is that because I'm an OnlyFans girl, 
I obviously will get DMs and stuff from these influencers, uh, and I'll be like, I already know that you're 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 a loser. Do you know what I mean? I already know that. I don't know why you have to affirm me. But then when I tell people about it, they'll go, Yeah, but you're a slut, and you probably asked for it. And I'm like, uh, not how sure. it works. Um, sure, yeah, that's that's yeah, that's lo- how yeah. life works. Yeah. And they'll go, I'll go. This person asked to uh, asked to pay me to have sex, and they'll be like, No, they didn't. Why would they do that? I'm like, why wouldn't I they? literally have the message here? Like, yeah. And then like, yeah, but you fake that. Why would That's I do that? Crazy. What? Oh, you just want money from him. But where am I going to get money from? Like, he yeah. would offer some money to have sex with him. I said, no. Like, you know right. what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. It's also extortion to do yeah. that. So you're probably not going to risk like going I mean, to no. prison. Is that, for... that's, the, that's the funniest thing is, you know, when people, women come out about assault cases and people are like, yeah, well, she just wants money. I'm like, do you realize how much money she has to pay to take yeah. her to then get paid back the money that she would have so it basically balances out like the yeah. only time that a woman is getting or a man a woman or a man yeah, is yeah. getting money from that is when someone pays them off and tells them, tells right. them to say anything again right. <laughs> which <laughs> which is the sign that they're guilty and yeah. i will stand on that fully. i'll die on that hill that when guilty. someone when someone pays off to keep something they are guilty there's literally m- yes. no because it happens all the time with footballers like we've got a footballer called party in our team right and i don't trust mm-hmm. that man i look at him and i don't trust him he's he's all right he's not a great player i don't really give two shits about him but he had this thing come up randomly then it whoop, straight down and everyone was going yeah well that got proved wrong i was like that came up and went straight back down really yeah. quick like don't you think like she just shut up out of nowhere yeah. so do you what do you think happened yeah. Do you know what I mean? But it's also like Mike Tyson. Like everyone forgets that Mike Tyson uh, okay. went to prison for assaulting somebody. Okay, but I, I, I mean, I would, but also I think the Mike Tyson thing is a setup. I, I, I mean, I'm not saying Mike Tyson's some angel, but I do believe that that she, whatever, and I always forget her name, Desiree something Washington, maybe something like that. I believe she completely took advantage of him. Yeah, because I haven't looked into that situation properly. It, but... It's a, it's a, you know, and I never want to like wanna... model something. Yeah, it's it's um the same thing actually happened with Tupac, uh, yeah. where it's like, okay, this this. But I feel this... like that used to happen a lot more. But now, because celebrities are so unattainable, it happens mm-hmm. a lot less. Do you know yes. what I mean? Because, like, all of these, like, and this sounds really bad, but obviously it then raves on. People then obviously rave on about, you know, like, oh, she she's faking it, blah, blah, blah. And, like, I mean, the, the truth is, is that, you know, if something actually does happen to you, nobody gives a shit anyway. Like, you go to the police, yeah. they do not give a shit. Like, no. they will go, yeah, but do you really want to ruin a man's life? And I'm like... Yes. Yes. Like, yes. What do you <laughs> mean? I'm literally sitting here asking you to ruin his life. Like, yeah, but he, you know, he's in college, or like, oh, yeah, but this, and you hear so many cases of it, and then they'll just go and yeah. do it again. Like, yeah. Uh, that I listen to so much true crime stuff. Like, <laughs> it's yeah, unreal. I could go into a whole thing about that, but yeah. anyway, I feel like I've taken up so much. No, time. no, no, no. <laughs> I, I'm taking up a lot of your time. So, no. no. Uh, so thank you so much for coming on. I have oh, had a so blast. Absolutely, anytime. So again, before we go, uh, just a quick like, where can people find you? All that good um, stuff. So you can find me Green Girl Bella everywhere. Green Girl right. Bella. Yeah. And uh, yeah. any little last words, uh, hopes for the future? Um, what um, do you think about the Middle East? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> you, don't have, um, you don't have to do that one, but, you know. Uh, so basically, um, the main sign off, if we're going to do our full circle, be like, why do you care? And I care because you have to have fun, stay safe, and always get consent.